Well, no doubt, tough game for the Cubs last night. And the fans, well, they didn't fare much better. Yeah, Twitter was blowing up last night and early this morning with complaints about the bathroom situation over on the north side. Many people apparently having to miss a number of innings, they say, while they waited in line to use the bathroom. Fox 32's Lisa Chavarria is live at Wrigley Field. And Lisa, the Cubs now saying this morning that they were ready, but it sounds like they could have done a better job at this one, issuing an apology for any inconvenience. That's exactly what they're doing this morning, Darlene. They are apologizing and they're saying that they plan on fixing the situation so that way something like this does not happen again. And as you said, Twitter just lit up and is still lighting up this morning, talking about the whole bathroom debacle. The team warned fans they'd be short on bathrooms, but the problem grew worse as the night went on. Take a look at some of these pictures that were being tweeted last night. You can see the line. It's just a sea of people. And people were saying that they had to wait one to two innings before they were able to actually get inside of the bathroom. The Cubs were saying that two bathrooms in the upper deck were temporarily out of order, which is what forced a lot of those fans to use the facilities downstairs where there were already long wait times. And the Cubs apologizing to fans this morning, saying that, quote, with 35,000 fans showing up in the ballpark tonight, which was last night, we were simply not prepared to handle guests during peak periods. We have high standards for service and we missed the mark tonight. Here's what some of the fans had to say about this. Our women's bathrooms, maybe. Well, men's restrooms, they were a little <laughs> ridiculous. <It's laughs> very packed. It was actually pretty chaotic in there. Men's restrooms were pretty much back to back from one end to the other. It's still needs to be a little bit better, but it's nice. The Cubs spokesman says that they plan on bringing additional portable units as well as monitoring uh, wait times for future games so that way something like this does not happen again during the construction. Reporting live from outside Wrigley Field, Lisa Chavaria, Fox 32 News, back to you. All right, Lisa, thank you. The restroom issues didn't overshadow the nicer moments of last night, however. Yeah, before the game started, the Cubs had